Welcome to 15 minute Hikha. In this short video, I will explain what economics is all about. In general, people have a very narrow view of economics. They think that economics is all about money or it is about finance or it is about banking or it is about taxes. But the scope of economics is much broader. In this short lecture, I will discuss the scope of economics by introducing you to three basic concepts, namely scarcity, trade-offs, and choice, and also explaining one general idea that says that all decisions involve choices. So in your life, whenever you make a decision, you are essentially making a choice. And this is very central in understanding the scope of economics as a discipline. In order to explain these concepts and the idea, let us do a simple thought experiment. Let me ask you to make an exhaustive list of things that you would like to have or do in your life. Suppose one fine morning, you sit down with a cup of tea at the favorite corner of your house or in the college canteen and start making that list. You first start with the food items, the food items that you would like to have for breakfast, for lunch or for dinner. Then you move on to the clothes that you would like to wear, the shoes that you would like to put on, the electronic gadgets that you would like to have, the vehicles that you would like to ride or drive, the house that you would like to own. And then in terms of how you spend your time, you probably would like to read, you would like to watch a movie, you would like to play soccer, you would like to spend some time with your friends and families. And then in terms of what you want to become, let's say you want to become an engineer, at the same time, you also want to become a writer. Maybe you want to become like a singer like Zubin Gurk, or you want to become a, an actor like Ali Abad. And this list will go on and on. And after a while, you will realize that this list will never end. What do we learn from this thought experiment? That our wants are unlimited. And that is true for the society as well. You may live in a village or a town or a city. Now, if you want to make a list for the village or the town or the city, then you can go on with maybe the village or the town or the city wants good schools, wants good roads, wants uh, good uh, universities or colleges, wants good stadium, wants safe drinking water, wants good hospital security system, and the list goes on and on. So wants are unlimited even for, for the society. For the sake of our argument, suppose you have a complete list. Suppose you are a person of limited wants. My question would be, can you have everything that you would like to have or do even if you have a complete list? The answer will probably be a resounding no. Why? Why cannot you have everything that you would like to have or like to do even if you have a complete list? Because the resources which are used to satisfy your wants are limited. Your income is limited, your wealth is limited, your time, which is a very important resource, is also limited. On a typical day, if you want to attend classes, if you want to watch a movie, if you want to play cricket with your friends, if you want to spend time with your, with your family, you may not be able to do all this because you have only 24 hours. And this problem of limited resources is true for even businesses. They do not have unlimited resources in order to satisfy all their wants. This limited nature of resources is defined as scarcity. And this is a very important, crucial uh, concept to understand the scope of economics. 
even for society the resources are limited that means there is scarcity even the richest country or richest society in the world does not have unlimited resources from this thought experiment what do we have on one hand we have unlimited ones on the other hand we have limited resources that means we have scarcity if we combine these two what we get is people facing trade-offs so trade-offs is the second concept that i would like to introduce here what is trade-offs these are alternatives if people want to have one thing they may not be able to have the other thing that they want to have because resources are limited because there is scarcity when people face trade-offs that means when people face alternatives then people have to make choices and choice or choices is the third con basic concept that i would like to introduce and these three concepts scarcity trade-offs and choices are fundamental to understanding the scope and range of economics as a discipline with these basic concepts we are now ready to give a formal definition of economics economics is the study of how economic agents make choices in the face of scarcity and how those choices affect society so here let me first explain who the economic agents are any individual or any group who make choices are economic agents. We make a lot of choices in our day-to-day -day life. In that sense, we all are economic agents. Similarly, groups like a family, a school, a college, a university, a farm, a business, a government, these are not single individual, but these are a collection of individuals. They collectively make certain choices and therefore they are also economic agents now let me discuss a few examples of the kind of choices that we make and which come under the purview of economics first at the individual level when you choose between studying for next two hours or watching a movie with your best friend that is a, a choice that is an economic decision and you are the economic agent and this choice would be a topic of study for economics not only we are interested in how you made that choice but also the effect of your choice let's say you choose to study for next two hours it is going to increase your human capital and it will have an effect on your earning, it will have an effect on your knowledge, and that can be studied in economics. On the other hand, if you decide to watch a movie, that will have certain effects on the society. You will have an entertainment. At the same time, the movie theater will earn an income by selling one extra ticket and those will be studied in economics or could be studied in economics. Similarly, after completing the undergraduate degree, you can choose to go to, a, go to the university for a master's degree or may decide to get married. Now, if you decide to get a master's degree, there will be certain effects. Obviously, your human capital will increase, your lifetime income will increase, and that will have an effect on the society. On the other hand, if you decide to get married, you will have a family, you will have children, and that will have certain effects on the society. And those effects can be studied in economics. Similarly, for the society, Society may decide to spend its limited resources on building more colleges and universities, which will facilitate educating more people, more students. On the other hand, it may decide to spend that limited resources to purchase missile. And that will also have effects on the society. 
Uh, similarly, economics can also study the effects of climate change on agricultural productivity. So how can it is an effect of a choice? We know that there is large evidence that says that climate change is caused to a large extent by human activities. Human activities meaning they are, uh, they are the results of choices made by human beings, right? So, and that has an effect on agricultural productivity and that's why it is very much under the purview of uh, economic purview of economics i have discussed three basic concepts in a way of explaining what economics is all about i have also given you a formal definition of economics now let let us think a little deeper let us recognize that all decisions small and big that you make in your life involve making choices if there were no alternatives that means if there were no trade-offs you do not have to choose if you do not have to choose you do not have to make decisions can you think of any decision that you have made so far in your life that does not involve choice and that brings us to this very fundamental idea that choice is what unifies, what binds everything that we study in economics. So if you look at an economic journal, then you will come across topics which in the first sight, you will wonder why it is in an economic journal. It could be it could be the effect of salt on the learning outcomes of females in India. It could be the effect of exposure to violence on people's behavior. It could be the effect of stock market volatility on elderly people's health. It could be the effect of climate change on agricultural productivity. So there is a wide range of topics that are covered, that are studied by economists and and that explains how pervasive how wide the scope of economics is and if you look at this topic or if you dig deeper you will see that all these topics are somehow related to the choices made by some economic agents and that is the fundamental idea that is the basic idea behind what economics is all about. That brings us to the end of this lecture. Let me summarize what we have learned. First of all, economic agents must make choices whenever they face trade-offs because of scarcity. So the words which are highlighted in red, these are the basic concepts that I have introduced in this lecture and they are very important to understand the scope of economics. Secondly, we also know that economic studies, how economic agents make choices and how these choices affect society. So we not only try to understand the decision making process, the choice making process, but also we want to understand how these choices affect the society. And then finally, which is probably the most important idea that I am trying to emphasize in this lecture is all decisions. And those decisions need not be economic in economic looking, right? Which is generally understood. All decisions involve choices. And why this is an important idea? Because if you recognize that, if you understand that all decisions involve choices, then you also realize how broad is the scope of economics. It is much broader than what is generally thought to be. Thank you for watching.